All right, here with uh, Johns Hopkins offensive coordinator, David Josephson. 10 games in, Blue Jay offense has been rolling, but now it's a whole new season. What do the Blue Jays need to do to be successful offensively on Saturday in Salisbury? Yeah, you know, everything for us really just starts up front. You know, we always talk about the uh, style of offense that just plays Hopkins out, which involves playing for each other, running hard after play, finishing the play. And, you know, we feel great about what we do so long as we execute and, and do it as one. Coming into the season, we had some knowns, Harrison Wellman, Ryan Hubley. We had some uh, maybe more unknowns. One of the guys who really emerged this year, uh, running back Danny Wolf. He really is helping provide the balance I know that you're looking for. Yeah, Danny's the, oh, Danny's the guy who came on really strong at the end of his freshman season. You know, scored four times in our bowl game against Stevenson. Um, had a really productive spring for us during that, that COVID year. And, you know, we were just thrilled to see him get going this year. And, Again, a lot of our success and, and his success starts up front. So uh, couldn't be more pleased for Danny, but also starts with all those guys blocking for him up front. How much pressure does it put on a defense when you have a running back who's first team all conference player, you have a strong uh, offensive line, and then you have three guys on the outside, all, all that can get it done for you? Yeah, I think one of the keys to having a successful offense is balance. And it's something that, that we've certainly strived for this year is to be balanced. And obviously, all three wideouts are great, um, but also Danny's emerging in the running game, and, and Ryan's doing a great job managing it all. And you know, I think the key to any truly successful offense is, is having the ability to be balanced and, and, and truly be a, a threat both running and throwing it. We've been blessed with some great quarterbacks through the years, and Ryan Stevens in his first year, first time in three years really playing because of COVID, and then he sat behind David Tamaro for a year. Um, he's really come in and done, and done a nice job running the offense, just one of the smarter quarterbacks we've had here in, in recent memory, just really knows the offense. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan's done an incredible job. Um, you know, having really three years off from playing football, if you go all the way back to his senior year of high school, and um, you know, we do do a fair amount on, on offense, and he's really taken in stride, and. Uh, he's coachable. He's just getting better each week. And, you know, I think one of the first things he did is really earn the respect of the locker room and his teammates. Um, and he has, he has so much so much support in that room. And again, it, it helps him out to be, you know, to be good up front and have a uh, supporting cast of those wideouts and, and, and Danny Wolf carrying the ball. Last question, uh, Salisbury, really you look at their defensive numbers and, and they've held a lot of teams under 10 points. They're, they're obviously a, a very uh, a very good defense, um, probably one of the top defenses we'll play this year. Just kind of what do they do and, and what are we going to have to be ready for on Saturday? Yeah, Salisbury is definitely a very well coached outfit on D. Um, you know, I think that they kind of have their uh, system and they do what they do and they do it well. Um, but again, I think the key to any great defense is playing with physicality, which they, they, they certainly do. And uh, they certainly play together and they certainly run the football. So, um, you know, a great challenge that, that, that our offense is definitely looking forward to. Okay, David, thank you so much. Good luck on Saturday. Yeah, thanks.